Hello everyone and welcome to JAM Academy. Um, in the previous lesson, we did talk about what happens if you are going around a bank track at a very low speed. Now, let us consider the situation in which you are driving around a bank track at a high speed higher than the critical speed for that particular road. Now, if you're driving around a band track at a very high speed, you have a tendency to skid outwards. That means that for you to maintain your position along the road, the road has to exert a, an inward frictional force on you. Um, so let's consider that situation. Let's begin by drawing our free body diagram. You have, this is MG. The normal force is always perpendicular to the road. Now, because you have a tendency to skid outwards, the friction force on you is along the road and it will be acting inwards. Remember, it is static friction. This angle is theta. Um, this angle is also theta. What that means is that we can resolve um, the static friction and the normal force into two components. We have, this will be Fs cosine theta. This will be Fs sine theta. You have here N cosine theta and you have here N sine theta. The next critical step is to apply Newton's second law for in both directions. If we do that, we know that the sum of forces along the y direction will be equal to the forces upwards, which is N cosine theta minus the forces downwards, which is mg minus f sine theta. All of this will be equal to zero. So n cosine theta minus fs sine theta will be equal to mg. I'm going to call this equation one, but also keep in mind that fs max is equal to mu s n therefore therefore n cosine theta minus mu s n sine theta will be equal to mg another way that you can see this will be um, the sum of forces towards the center of the circle will be N sine theta plus Fs cosine theta equal to mv squared all divided by R. That means that N sine theta plus mu S N Cosine theta is equal to mv squared all divided by r. This is equation 2 and this is equation 3. Um, we can divide equation 3 by 2. If we divide equation 3 by equation 2, we will have n sine theta plus mu s n cosine theta divided by n cosine theta minus mu s n sine theta equal to mv square over r all divided by mg. As you can see the m's can cancel. We can factorize and take out the n's out so the n's can clearly be taken away. And we will end up with this beautiful expression sine theta plus mu s 
cosine theta divided by cosine theta minus mu s sine theta. This will be equal to v squared all divided by rg. Hence, v squared will be equal to g r bracket sine theta plus mu s cosine theta divided by cosine theta minus mu s sine theta. So this would mean that v, the maximum speed that you can have, will be equal to the square root of rg bracket sine theta plus mu s cosine theta divided by cosine theta minus mu s sine theta. This is the expression for the maximum speed that you can have if you are to if you are to prevent sliding outwards. I realize this is a long and intense problem, so I would recommend that you should watch the problem over again. And uh, if you have any questions, it will be my pleasure to help you if you leave a comment in the discussion forum below this video. Thank you so much and remain blessed. Bye-bye.